For the last part, for subtopic 4.1, you will learn how to illustrate the concept of resonance using appropriate examples. So, what is resonance structure? Resonance structure ni, kalau if let's say you ada single molecule, you tak boleh represent it accurately by just only one uh, Lewis structure, tetapi dia ada two homolog structure, there comes resonance structure. Basically, the resonance structure ni, dia ada sama atomic structure, tetapi dia punya arrangement of electron saja yang berbeza. Okay, and you can represent the resonance structures by putting the double-headed arrow in between the resonance structures. Okay, and the most stable Lewis structure will be the one yang ada uh, formal charge yang paling rendah sekali which means kalau formal charge of sesebuah atom tu in the, di dalam single molecule tu uh, approaching zero, nak dekat dengan zero that means that is the most stable Lewis structure. Okay, for the first example for the resonance structure ialah resonance structure for sulfur dioxide or as known as SO2. So, this is actually the resonance structure, okay, this is actually the resonance structure untuk SO2, okay. Uh, di mana you ada dua Lewis structure kat situ, okay, Lewis structure yang pertama dan Lewis structure yang kedua, diorang sama sahaja, diorang punya atomic arrangement because atomic arrangement diorang OSO, OSO, okay. Tetapi apa yang berbeza di sini ialah mereka punya electron arrangement, okay. Sebab if you look at the structure yang pertama ni, uh, dia punya electron arrangement between S dan O di sebelah kanan ada double bond, okay. Kalau di sebelah uh, structure yang kedua pula, the double bond will be located at S dan juga O di sebelah kiri, okay. Uh, so, the first thing first, kalau you nak tentukan uh, resonance structure untuk sesebuah molecule, first of all, that you need to do ialah draw the Lewis structure untuk molecule tersebut. So, if let's say you are the SO2, so you draw the Lewis structure of SO2 mengikut step by step Lewis structure yang uh, nak lukis Lewis structure yang Miss dah nyatakan dekat video sebelum ni, okay? So, untuk lukis Lewis structure SO2, you kena tentukan siapa yang dekat tengah-tengah, siapa yang dekat terminal. So, I have decided to put S at the center, uh, oxygen at the terminal because S is sulfur, the less electronegative than oxygen. Okay, selepas itu, Miss akan kira the total number of valence electron untuk sulfur dan juga dua kali oxygen. Sulfur ada 6 valence electron, oxygen pun ada 6 valence electron, so 2 kali dengan 6 dapat 12. Therefore, the total valence electron untuk molecule SO2 will be 18. Okay, 18 electron. Kiranya di dalam molecule SO2 uh, kena ada 18 electrons. Okay, sebab 18 electron yang terlibat di dalam pembentukan molecule SO2. Next ialah, when I look at the skeletal, this is actually the skeletal structure untuk SO2. Okay, skeletal structure. So, the next step ialah, untuk connectkan all the atoms, S dan juga O, I boleh connectkan dengan one single bond dahulu. Sebelum I nak build up ke double atau um, triple bond ke apa, I buat dulu, buat dulu single bond. And next step ialah octet kan, I need to octet every of the atoms in the skeletal structure. For example, this oxygen, I need to octet kan dia. So, this oxygen, since I know that there are two electrons saja to octet kan this oxygen, I need another six electrons surrounding this oxygen. For this sulfur, since I have satu, dua, tiga, empat electron yang surrounding this sulfur, to octet kan this sulfur, I need another four electrons surrounding this sulfur. While this oxygen, I need another six electrons surrounding the ox this oxygen, okay? So, I kena octet kan ke semua atom dekat my skeletal structure. Okay. Selepas I dah octet kan semua elektron dekat skeletal structure, I need to count back all of the electrons here in this skeletal structure yang I dah octet kan. So, I nak, sebab I nak tengok sama tak dengan 18 electrons. So, now when I count, I ada 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So, I have 20 electrons here in the skeletal structure. So,
So if I look at the total number of balanced electrons in SO2 ada 18. So tak sama. Ada extra dua elektron. Sebelah ada extra dua elektron, therefore I have to move just one lone pair, okay? Supaya jadi bonding pair. So if they say I ambil mana-mana lah, I ambil this lone pair of oxygen and I move this sebagai bonding pair, therefore I need to octetkan everything balik, to octetkan everything balik, sulfur ni I kena lose another lone pair juga. So the Lewis structure, okay, uh, Lewis structure yang baru, Lewis structure yang the legit Lewis structure for my SO2 will be begini. Okay, 3, 4, Okay, bila I dah dapat the legit Lewis structure untuk my SO2, barulah I boleh tahu resonance structure. Okay, resonance structure ialah di mana you I kekalkan my atomic structure tetapi I hanya akan ubahkan sahaja kedudukan elektron. So, in this case, elektron yang I boleh ubah adalah the... The double bond here, okay. Sebab double bond ni, I boleh uh, switch sebelah sini uh, and switch di sebelah sini, okay. So, because this double bond, I boleh movekan dia. That's why lah, terhasil lah. Because it does, the, sebab I boleh move this double bond. Okay, double bond is something yang I can move around, okay. Double bond is something that you can move around. Um, kalau you nak move the electron arrangement lah. Okay, so because I can move the double bond di kiri dan, dan di kanan, maka terhasil lah resonance structure. So that's why the resonance structure untuk sulfur dioxide ada dua sahaja. Okay, so macam mana you nak buat resonance structure? Tentukan dahulu the Lewis structure. So bila ada terwujud double bond kat situ, that means and then kalau uh, structure tu dia quite symmetrical, that means you boleh move around the double bond uh, which in this case, I can move around the double bond di kiri dan di kanan. Ha, macam tu. That's why I hanya ada uh, dua sahaja jenis resonance structure because first, my double bond is dekat belah kiri. Lepas tu, uh, another possible structure bila I move the double bond kat sebelah uh, kanan. Okay, so to represent the resonance structure, I need to put this double-headed arrow begini ya. Ha, macam ni. Jangan pula buat begini. Uh, ini bukan. So, you need to put uh, that kind of arrow. Alright, the next example is going to be the resonance structures for carbonate ion, CO3 to minus. So, these are actually the resonance structure for carbonate ion. Ada tiga resonance structure sebab ada tiga possible Lewis structure untuk carbonate ion. So, Macam mana tu kamu nak buat? First of all, please draw the Lewis structure untuk CO3 to minus. Ha, macam mana nak lukis Lewis structure untuk CO3 to minus? Mulakan dengan skeletal structure by drawing the skeletal structure for CO3 to minus. Di mana atom yang paling less electronegative di tengah-tengah, elektron yang paling uh, atom yang paling electronegative di terminal. And don't forget sebab dia ion letak dalam kurungan 2 minus. Selepas itu, you need to count the total, count the total valence electron, okay, uh, in CO3 to minus. Okay, since carbon ada satu, oxygen ada tiga, okay, and then to count the total valence electron, carbon ada empat valence electron, oxygen Balance elektron untuk oksigen ada 6. So, 3 kalikan dengan 6. Alright. And then ada charge. Okay. The charge is 2 minus. Since the charge is an ion, that means CO3 terima ke dia donate 2. Dia terima 2 elektron. That's why kena campurkan dengan 2 elektron. Okay. So, now the total balance elektron untuk CO3 to minus will be uh, 4 campurkan dengan 2, 6 lepas tu 3 kali 6, 18 elektron kira ada total 24 elektron 
So there will be a total of 24 electrons in CO3 to minus. After that, you move to the skeletal structure. Okay, this is the skeletal structure untuk CO3 to minus. And to connect all of the atoms together, you boleh connectkan by drawing a single bond between them. Lepas you dah draw the single bond, what do you need to do is you need to octetkan ke semua atom di skeletal structure ni, okay? So, for example, oxygen, you can octetkan oxygen, cukupkan 8 elektron dekat oxygen, cukupkan 8 elektron dekat carbon, and cukupkan 8 elektron dekat these two oxygens as well. So, for example, this carbon, dia ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sebab ada tiga bonding pair, therefore ada enam elektron yang surrounding this carbon, kan? So, untuk cukupkan lapan elektron dekat carbon, carbon akan ada dua elektron yang akan surrounding the carbon in dalam bentuk lone pair. Uh, while oxygen ni akan ada tiga lone pair, oxygen belah kanan pun akan ada tiga lone pair. Oksigen di bawah pun akan ada tiga lone pair. Okay, sebab kita nak octet kan, nak make sure ke semua atom ni semua ada lapan elektron. Semua octet. So, bila dah semua dah octet, okay, what do you need to do? You count back all of the electrons in the skeletal structure. Tak payah kira charge ni. Charge ni kamu dah kira this in this one. Uh, yang untuk kira balik the um, electrons in the structure, you need to count the electrons yang berada di bonding pair dan juga lone pair sahaja. Tak perlu kira charge ni. Charge ni sebab sebagai syarat because it is CO3 to minus. So, to draw the Lewis structure, you kena buat lah kalau ada charge, buat. Dalam kurungan, uh, and then ada charge. Begitu. So now to count all of the to count back all of the electrons in the structure I know that I had a tiga bonding pair tiga single bond single bond ada dua electron so tiga kali dikan dengan dua enam and then lone pair ada dua electron juga so lone pair I ada berapa ni 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so I have 10 lone pairs so, 10 kalikan dengan 2, 20, so a total of 26 electrons in this structure. For this skeletal structure, I have 26 electrons. So, tak ngam. Okay, this, uh, this value tak ngam. Tak ngam, tak sama. Okay, so bila tak sama, that means um, I know that I have extra two electrons. So, when I have extra two electron, that means I kena move sal two sahaja lone pair jadikan dia sebagai bonding pair. So, sebagai contoh, if I look at this skeletal structure, which lone pair yang I nak ambil tak kisahlah mana-mana. So, if let's say I nak ambil lone pair dekat this one oxygen and I nak movekan dia jadi satu bonding pair. So, I will remove this electron and then I akan move Jadikan dia sebagai bonding pair. That's why lah terhasil lah double bond kat situ. And after that, um, I kira balik octet everything. Octet tak? Macam ni, 2, 4, 6, 8. Ni, 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Terlebih sudah. So, that means I need to remove the lone pair dekat carbon atom juga. Okay. And then, ni, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Ah, so, kiranya the legit Lewis structure... Legit Lewis structure untuk CO3 to minus will be C double bond O 1, 2, 3, 4 single bond O Ok So this is the legit Lewis structure for my CO3 to minus Alright, and then, one more thing. Okay, sebabkan I ada double bond, uh, that means I can form a resonance structure. Sebab I boleh move around this double bond and this structure looks symmetrical anyway. So, that's why I can move around this double bond kat bawah ke dekat kiri. So, that's why I ada tiga possible Lewis structure. Uh, sebab the first one, I can move it here. The second one, I can move it here. The third one, I can move it here. Okay, so that's why I ada tiga possibility of the Lewis structure for the 
CO3 to minus. Okay, next example is ozone. Okay, tadi kita um, dah decide untuk tahu resonance structure is first thing first, you need to draw the Lewis structure of your molecule. Okay, after you dah draw the Lewis structure of your molecule, you boleh tahu yang ada kewujudan double bond. Because double bond, if the molecule is symmetrical to each other, you can move around can move around the double point, okay? So, uh, sebagai contoh, ozone, if let's say you buat Lewis structure untuk ozone, pada asalnya you hanya dapat double point di sebelah kiri lah, sebagai contoh. But because this double point, you boleh move around and since dia punya um, atom ni, kalau you move around the double point point, dia tak mengubah apa-apa and it is quite symmetrical. So, that's why you akan ada dua possible Lewis structure for the ozone, okay? Which, satu tu bila kamu letak double bond di sebelah kiri, satu lagi di sebelah kanan, okay? So, since dia ada dua possible Lewis structure, therefore, ozone akan ada dua resonance structure. Uh, and please, untuk um, bagi tahu resonance structure untuk ozone, please bagi tahu in between the structures with this kind of resonance symbol. This is resonance symbol, ya? Yeah? Paling penting tu. Next example is uh, carbonate ion. I'm sorry, tadi Miss dah tunjuk dah contoh for carbonate ion. Okay. Um, to make it short, after you draw the Lewis structure of carbonate ion, you tahu yang ada kewujudan double bond, kan? So, since ada kewujudan double bond, since carbonate ion ni, dia ada tiga oxygen di terminal, therefore, ada possibility untuk double bond ni move around, Okay. So, bila dia ada possibility for this double bond to move around dekat uh, oxygen atom ni, uh, sekejap kat bawah, sekejap kat tepi kiri, sekejap kat tepi kanan, therefore, there will be three possible Lewis structures untuk carbonate ion, okay? Since you know that there are three possible Lewis structures for carbonate ion, that means there will be three resonance structures for carbonate ion, okay? Three resonance structures. Okay, so untuk um, apa tu bagi tahu yang mereka ni resonance to each other, you need, you really, really need to show this resonance arrow. Alright, next example is SO4 to minus. Okay, SO4 to minus, kalau let's say you draw the Lewis structure for SO4 to minus, you will get something like this. Okay, S and then double bond O lepas tu ada single bond O 2 minus dalam kurungan 2 minus lah ok 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sebab double bond ni dia boleh move around ok so that's why kamu akan ada 6 possible Lewis structures for SO4 2 minus since you ada 6 possible Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus um, therefore, you will have six resonance structures for SO4 to minus. But don't worry, you kalau dalam exam tak adalah dia nak suruh kamu buat sampai enam resonance structure. Uh, mungkin paling paling banyak pun tiga lah. Macam contohnya carbonate ion tu. Okay. Uh, yang ni dah macam um, advanced sikit. Uh, tapi just untuk show kepada kamu, actually resonance structure ni selagi double point tu dia boleh ubah kedudukan dia. Okay. Uh, sebab resonance structure kan dia punya atomic structure dia sama tengok atomic structure dia S O ada 4 sama je atomic structure dia tapi yang membezakan dia ialah electron arrangement sebab dia ada boleh buat 6 different electron arrangement uh, sekejap double bond kat sini sekejap double bond kat belah sini uh, sekejap double bond macam ni macam ni macam ni uh, so that's why lah as opposed to minus ada 6 resonance structures okay next one is benzene benzene ni famous tau okay so basically, this is a benzene molecule where you will have three single bond and three double bond. And this three double bond, it can move around. Okay, double bond memang boleh move around. So that's why if let's say you add this kind of molecule uh, and the double bond can be moved around, therefore benzene pun add the resonance structure juga. Okay, in resonance structure, uh, panjang dengan pendek, double bond dengan single bond ni are equal in length. Okay, last one. Uh, cuba buat soalan ni. Ni soalan PSPM Jun 2 tahun 2000. 
Okey, soalan dia dah bagi tiga possible Lewis structure untuk SCN minus ataupun tiga resonance structure untuk SCN minus. So you need to calculate the formal charge of each atom in each resonance structure. Kiranya structure yang pertama, you kena kira formal charge untuk S, untuk atom C, untuk atom N. Untuk uh, structure yang kedua, you kena for, kira formal charge untuk atom S, C dan juga N. Untuk structure yang ketiga pun sama, you kena kira formal charge untuk atom S, C dan juga N. Okay. Lepas tu, give the most plausible. Plausible maksudnya the most stable Lewis structure. So, untuk tahu the most stable Lewis structure, you kena cari um, formal charge untuk atom yang near ataupun equal to zero. Okay. Or, you kena cari kalau let's say the negative formal charge uh, terletak pada atom yang the most electronegative. So I think that's all for subtopic 4.1. So I hope that you understand apa yang Miss Aja, okay? So I'll see you again in subtopic 4.2.